Greetings all, Shane Bruce, Restomod Daisy, with yet another exciting video of a custom Daisy rifle. This little project is finally done and I'm, I'm very, very happy with it. It's a Restomod number 111, model 40 Red Rider carbine with the sliding spring block uh, adaptation incorporated into the gun. Sporting a set of uh, Slim Jims with a moderate length forearm this time. And there's a couple of interesting things about the gun I want to point out to the viewership. Uh, to begin with, it is a sliding spring block conversion. This means there is no spring anchor. It um, gun cocks on the closing stroke, which I'll demonstrate in just a minute. Another cool thing about this particular gun is it's got a Resto Mod Martini lever on it. Check this out. Boom. Boom. Nice. Straight, simple line like a Martini Henry rifle from the days of the British Army in the late 1800s with a small curl. Uh, standard steel trigger, standard trigger return spring. It does have a Cobalt 327 Super Spring inside it, and the air tube has been overboard to 764, 764 of an inch. So it's an overboard air tube, new seal set, and here's a neat touch we put on this one. This is actually a Daisy Model 94 barrel band with the interesting motif, and it says across the top of the barrel band itself, Daisy. Doesn't get much better than that, does it? And to touch things off, to finish the project up, it's got the Restomod copper band on the end of the muzzle. Now you might see these on other guns now on the internet. Uh, I'm not getting any credit from the other makers, but it's nice to see a trademark element show up on other people's work. I won't mention anybody in particular, but, but yeah, I'm not the only guy in the world that does this. So this has the Model 25 spring-loaded magazine, 50-shot tube and fire blue steel. Let's take a look at the finish on this one. Turned out pretty damn nice. Now, I like, it's. I know it's hard for the camera to pick it up, but I really like the purple tones. I don't know if you can see that right there. The human eye can detect it. The CCD complex on my cell phone, maybe not. There is some color shift down here in this section, the receiver as well. And like all resto mods, it's got a uh, custom steel butt plate on the back end of this extreme hook on our uh, Slim Jim stocks. So, to give you an idea how the gun cycles as a Model 27 conversion, it cocks on the closing stroke. So a standard Red Rider, you'll pop it open and you'll have to push really hard to get that lever to that position because that's what actually arms the gun. And then you go free spooling back to the firing position. But on a Model 27, the cocking occurs on the closing stroke. So the opening stroke is real light, real easy. The closing stroke is the real bear. And with a super spring in one of these, it's not easy to cycle. But she will run about 308 feet a second. So it's a not a thumper, Red Rider, but it's a thumpette. Now those speed levels may increase as these seals wear into their seats, but it's a fresh job right now. It's what the Krona says it does. That's what it does. But overall, I'm very pleased with the effort. And hopefully, its new owner up in Tennessee will feel the same way about it. Well, kids, that's all for today's video. Can you, oh, oh, I want to show this too. We got a little crazy with the color crayon. Tried to put a little gold insert in there. Kind of sort of worked. Not all that well. I'll continue experimenting with that because I think that's a neat touch. Anyway, that's all for today, kids. This is Shane Bruce with Resto Daisy, signing off.